HMS Taif comes into vision. Taif means protected, encircled, just like those on board. It's just unbelievable. The ship slowly pulling in. You start to see people's features. You see the eagerness on their faces to get to safety. After 10 hours at sea, finally just some solace from what has been the most horrifying time. Saudi Arabia has evacuated more people from the violent chaos of Sudan than any other country in the world. And as they approach Jeddah's shores, gratitude overflows. How are you feeling? I'm glad for good friends in Saudi Arabia today. Yeah. You're American. Obviously. I am an American, yeah. And, and what was it like for you getting out? Uh, it was a long journey out of Khartoum. Um, lots of craziness happening. But you know what? The, the Sudanese people themselves were beautiful people. If it hadn't been for the Sudanese people helping us at each journey, each step of the way, uh, it was absolutely beautiful. And then to see our friends and brothers in Saudi Arabia get us here, I'm truly grateful. In Sudan, you have any friends here? Yes, yes, yes. Do you want to get them? Yes, yes. Do you want to get them? Yes, yes. Do you want to get them? Yes, yes. Hundreds and hundreds of people in Port Sudan waiting. Waiting, yeah. And in Khartoum? In Khartoum as well. Trapping in Khartoum, Khartoum at Nien. They have been trapping in Khartoum and this still group of people trapped there. Can you believe this one? Running out of water, children yeah. inside. So, but then we we got the chance to be here. It's a, it's a heaven. <laughs> Final moments of disarray before their feet hit steady ground. And as the crowd parts... Oh, that's my uncle. That's my uncle. I don't want him. No. <laughs> Saudi Arabia's Navy has been commended for its rescue efforts. How much resources have you thrown behind these evacuation missions? We uh, used all of our resources and we don't feel really we feel heavy about this we didn't feel so we feel heavy and we are ready uh, to provide whatever we can uh, to complete this uh, operations do you see more evacuation missions in the future to help some these people who are stranded in uh, as a number already we don't have uh, exact figures but we are ready to uh, to provide the comfort Around 2,500 people from 67 countries have made it to safety here. Men and women, old and young. Out of the devastation, but many still far from home. Yusra al Sky News, Jeddah.